ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back! It's been a while, I know, but I suppose to start off, we're gonna have to get the elephant out of the room right away. I've been gone for a while, and I have to apologize for that. There's been a lot of changes that have come around with the Twitch side of things and the YouTube side of things, and I'm gonna use this video to give you guys an understanding as to where I've been, what's been going on on Twitch, and a general update as to the future of the channel. Also, who these lovely beans to my left and right are, because well, we've got a lot to talk about, chat. So to answer the first and probably most prudent question of WHERE'S MY WARFRAME CONTENT? Well, before we answer that directly, we're gonna have to have a bit of a backtrack as to where we've come from, because Warframe has been a massive part of my life. I would not be where I am now if it weren't for the Warframe community. And as it stands, I love Warframe. I, d I want this to be a disclaimer right off the bat. I do not hate Warframe in any way, shape, or form. The game as a whole is fun, and I still enjoy playing it. It's just, this is where what this video is going to be covering. It's, in a nutshell, since I started playing Warframe, Warframe has seen many changes over the years. And from my perspective, I've always done Warframe for the sake of my community, and for the sake of giving guides and information, and to help the Warframe community as a whole. And for the most part, Warframe as a, as a game hasn't really changed all that much. We still have fun with it, we still do our dailies, we still have the sorties. But suffice to say, there has been a lot that's changed over the years from multiple perspectives. And without getting into the drama of everything, it's changed to a point where I no longer feel like I can stream it. So to answer the question, yes, I have quit Warframe, but don't click away yet, because I must explain why. It, I think you deserve that, if nothing else. Now, once again, I don't hate Warframe. I love it. It's been a fantastic element of my life. But there's a few things that have pushed me away from it. First of all being that, as a community, we've just evolved. This is the important mentality to have, and something that I think a lot of people who watch Warframe content creators don't quite understand. Warframe content creators are, above all else, a content creator. Warframe just happens to be the avenue in which they produce their content. And being content creators, the biggest priority of any content creator is always about the growth. It's about how you can get your content out there for all to see. Now, there's always going to be a professional standard for most people. If you do this as a full-time job like I do, then you have to do what is best for your content. And as it stands, and clinically put, Warframe just doesn't have the pull anymore. And as much as I would love to be continuously bashing my head against a, a brick wall, I could absolutely keep streaming Warframe and providing Warframe content. But as far as a content creator goes, I feel like I've evolved now. I feel like I've gone beyond limiting myself to a singular game and limiting my production of guides or videos per se to that singular notion. From a professional standpoint, I have to do what I feel is best for the growth of my channel and for whatever helps me do this full time. Simply put, Warframe didn't do that anymore. I wasn't able to pay my bills on a week by week basis by making guides, by uh, streaming Warframe on a day by day basis. And the second that I brought, for, for context, I branched out to Variety about two slash three months ago. In that, in those two and three months, I've employed my first two members of staff, technically, and these this has been the best two slash three months of my streaming career. And again, that's nothing to say bad about Warframe, but from a professional standpoint, that's just where I've transitioned to. And to go with that, there are some other nuances that go into Warframe that have unfortunately pushed me further away, namely an unnecessary amount of negative echo chambering, there's been an unnecessary amount of toxicity. You need only look at some of my other YouTube videos to realize that there's a lot of toxicity in a game where it's all based around personal preference. That's not then to mention the apathetic nature of DE and how they've basically let their game run wild. And I'm not gonna, I'm not shit talking the game. This is just from my perspective how I've seen things go. The game as it is, is fine, but I've always said, even in the dry spells of Warframe, that I would be happy to play it, even if, you know, we've lacked content for a few weeks. But the direction that things are going, I did, could not see myself continuing on with it, and I could not see it improving to a point where I could extend myself beyond that. 
And going back to the notion I mentioned earlier, this is my job. I have to do what's best for the, us as a community. And most of you have probably clicked out of this already thinking that I'm not making any more Warframe content. So to those who have and to those who are going to leave from this, all I can say is thank you for tuning in for the content that you have enjoyed. For those who want to be part of this as we venture and evolve ourselves beyond the limitations of what we've done, thank you for being part of this community. It is without doubt, without your help, I would not have gotten to the stage I'm at now. And the last thing I want to do is spread negativity because of that. So to TLDR of, all, of this entire beginning section of this video is, no, I'm not playing Warframe anymore. No, I don't hate Warframe anymore. The big important thing is, is that I'm evolving as a content creator and professionalizing myself in to other directories and to other aspects of content. Now, in terms of my Warframe content for YouTube specifically, I am actually going to still be uploading to YouTube. It's just not going to be Warframe. War my Warframe guides required so much commitment. They required me to make a script. They required me to do my research. They required me to invest so much time that I didn't have. I draw for a living, I stream for a living, and I was doing YouTube for a living all in a single day, and that was not manageable. Now, what we have transitioned into, as you might be able to tell by the avatar that myself and my fellow cohorts here are using, we've transitioned to VRChat and general variety. We have a focus of VRChat, Elder Scrolls, and Final Fantasy as of right now, with VRChat being the hub of the community. And if you've never seen VRChat before, Imagine real life and socializing normally, but you have the ability to equip your favorite succubus avatar or anime character avatar. And the reason why I've chosen VRChat specifically is because it is a community game. It's free and anyone can play. You don't need a VR headset to jump in. And to me, this embodies everything I've always wanted for my community. Ease of access, community involvement, and just general fun. There are so many mini games and things we can do in VRChat together that it's really helped me embrace my personality and be the best me that I can be. Not to mention I look sexy as hell whilst doing it. And that in of itself complements my uh, ideas for my YouTube content because my ambition as of right now is to make funny highlight reels of all the stuff we get up to together, to make funny skits based on ideas that we come up with as a community. And the great thing about that is I don't need to make a script. I don't need to invest as much time to get some fun content and to provide you with entertainment. That is the penultimate end of all this. So as we move away from Warframe, as we start embracing general variety and VRChat specifically, you're going to see a lot of content coming out here because of that. So if you do end up leaving because we're not making Warframe content anymore, I entirely understand that. I appreciate you having been here for what you have been. And I can only hope that those who do decide today will appreciate the fun and frivolities that we'll be having with VRChat. And I can only hope that you look forward to all we ha that we have in, pl in mind as well. If you ever want to come and join us, there will be links to our Twitch down below. There will be links to my Twitter and TikTok as well. And I hope you look forward to all these hilarious things that we have in mind. And once again, just thank you so much for joining us on this journey. I can't even fathom to imagine where I would have been with my Twitch or YouTube career if it weren't for have been what if it weren't for the fact that I would have started with Warframe. So. The TLDR of all this, guys. Yes, unfortunately, I've quit Warframe. Unfortunately, I've moved away from it. But on the positive side, we as a community have evolved because of it. And if you want to see why, most notably, I moved away from Warframe, check the comments of my other YouTube videos and you'll kind of see why. The point is, these videos are going to be much more lighthearted and they're going to be much more engaging for you guys. And I would love to hear your opinions down below. Try and set an example as to the positivity of change, because you think about the content creators, they want to play the games they enjoy. They don't want to feel locked into a singular game. And if I can hear what you think about this in a constructive way, like, don't, if you guys don't like it, by all means, tell me down below. But be constructive about it. So, from all of us at the Top Hatters, thank you so much for watching this video. I will hopefully see you all in the future content we make, and I uh, hope you enjoy all the skits we're going to be putting out for you guys. And I don't actually know how to end my videos anymore, so, uh, hurrah, I guess. <laughs>